I'm Anthony from iMore.com and this is the iPad Arcade Experience Mashup on iMore TV. Ah, the 80s. A time when hair was big and so were the arcades. There are many a retro gamer that just itches to play the classic arcade games on a genuine arcade cabinet. We've had for quite some time now some offerings to give you a flashback of the 80s on iPad with the Atari Arcade and the iCade from Ion Audio. Doing a Google search for either the Atari Arcade and the iCade will bring up a ton of reviews stacking each accessory against the other. And since these have been reviewed to death, we've decided to see how these nostalgic inducing devices stack up against the real thing. How close do the iCade and Arcade come to replicating a genuine arcade experience? So, what we've done is run a series of tests that compare our iPad accessories to an arcade cabinet, and for each test, a point score is given if either the iCade or the Atari Arcade can match the test score of the arcade cabinet. Right? Okay, so let's get started. Alright, the looks. Does it look like an arcade cabinet? Well, it's pretty distinguishable, I and mean, you can tell what it looks like. It's got a certain shape to it. It's got typically two, sometimes one, arcade uh, joystick in the front with a bunch of buttons, maybe one, two buttons, depending on what it is. And here we have the Atari Arcade. Yeah, yeah, it, it doesn't really look like an arcade cabinet at all, does it? So that'll get you zero points. And the Ion Arcade, well, yeah, this, this kind of has a wood grain in the front. It does look like an arcade cabinet, it's, it's a, albeit a much smaller size. And uh, yeah, this gets a, a point. This does look like an arcade cabinet. Does it feel like you're using an arcade cabinet? Here we go. I mean, we have some joysticks to play with. Uh, there's some buttons to press. Uh, this one here particularly has a trackball, but it means still has a joystick and has a certain feeling when you're moving the joystick left and right. And let's see how our competitors feel. Yeah, I would say the Atari Arcade has a joystick, has buttons. It feels like you're playing an arcade game. Sure, we'll give it one point for that. Same with the iCade. It's got its joystick, it's got buttons, it's got a, you know, in various configurations. You're moving the joystick and it, there you go, you're playing your arcade game. The sound. Does it sound like an arcade cabinet? Definitely. Well, of course, see, there's a certain sound, there's some button smashing, there is uh, noise coming from the arcade cabinet itself. You know, nice bass and you know, button smashing. Now we have the Atari Arcade. And it sounds like it, but it kind of sounds like it's coming out of a tin can, so we'll just give it half a point. And same thing for the iCade, it kind of sounds like it's coming out of a tin can, and you know, honestly, it's not the actual iCade that's making the music, it's actually our iPads for both of these, so they only get half a point for effort. The quarter test, does it have a working coin slot? Of course, here is a 1977 quarter that I'm sure has seen many arcade cabinets. And there's nothing better than plopping in a quarter to hear that sound and then starting to play your game. How about the Atari Arcade? Yeah, there's no place to do it. So that really, you lose all nostalgic value for that. Oh, look at this. Uh, iCade does have one, yet it's just a false looking thing. So that only gets half a point. The second quarter test. Can you place a quarter in the cabinet to reserve your spot? This is something that gamers from the arcade era know, that when you want to play a game, someone's hogged the machine, you want to let them know that you're next, so you put on your quarter somewhere on their arcade cabinet. And the Atari Arcade, well, no, you can't do that. They don't let you. You're Someone's going to be playing it all night long, and they won't even know that you want to play next. The iCade? Yeah, there's some place where you can do it. Someone will be able to see visibly that your quarter is there and in the way. Trackball test. Does it have one? So Atari is kind of trackball mad with most of its early games, and uh, even with the uh, Atari games, the greatest hits that are released on the iPad, you can see that there are a lot of games that have been adapted to use the uh, joystick. And so the Atari Arcade that comes with no, there is no trackpad, so you're stuck using the joystick. It's not as precise, so we only give it zero points. Same thing with the iCade. There are no, there's no trackball. There's no room for a trackball, but still, you know, for, for precision for the experience, it doesn't cut it. Aggressive gamer test. Can it withstand aggressive play? You've seen it. You've seen people, when they're in the arcade, they're just going nuts. They are just ripping the joysticks out of its sockets, wanting to see it. Uh, maybe it's going to work faster. Who knows? And here we go with the Atari Arcade. Does it stack up? If someone's trying to smash on it and look at it, it starts to fall apart. So, no, not really. We'll give that zero points. Same thing with the iCade. If you really need to sp smash on buttons or move the joystick back and forth, it is completely unstable, and so is your iPad. Zero points. 
Can the accessory withstand an angry kick? Sure. I'm sure many times I've been playing a video game, I screw up, and there you go. I try to smash it with my foot. Well, not so much smash, more like a tap. Here we go. Can the arcade do it? Atari? No. No, not very good. And same thing with the the arcade. Can it withstand a nice swift kick? Oh, well, not so bad. Yeah, so let's say that. Side art test. Uh, can, can it have any side art, or does it have side art? Of course, that what's, that's what attracts you to the game. You see the side art, you know, the game doesn't even look like the side art, of course not, and you want to play it. Atari Arcade? Well, there is no side, so therefore there is no side art. So, that's a zero. The Arcade? Well, it's not attractive side art, but it can have side art, and, you know, I would say yes, this is a nice point. Two players, simultaneous? That was our multiplayer back in the day. You can play two players at once, and you can smack talk the person right next to you, and hopefully they won't beat you up. The Atari Arcade, no, no, you just gotta wait there. And the iCade itself, too, just have to wait. They're both two player in a sense where you go one at a time, but you can't both play at the same time. Bonus points. Well, this is where the pretenders are actually better. The Atari Arcade and the iCade are both very portable and they also don't take up a lot of space. So if you want to move it around or move it to a new location, well, the arcade cabinet is really not going to work for you. Also, the electricity. Uh, the arcade cabinet takes up a heck of a lot more electricity. The iCade is way cheaper than an arcade cabinet, as is the Atari Arcade, because the arcade cabinet can cost anywhere from $350 to well over $1,000, depending on options, your games, the internals, size of your screen, etc., etc. And now we come to our winner and our totals. So if you want the genuine arcade experience, get a genuine arcade cabinet. We have 10 total points, but not all of us have the space or the money to, to use an arcade cabinet. So let's look at the other points. In the Atari Arcade, although it gets great reviews in terms of playability, the Atari Arcade only gets four points in terms of replicating the genuine arcade experience according to our tests. And the iCade, it gets a respectable 7.5 points. You know, it's not as big as an arcade cabinet. It doesn't have everything you want for an arcade cabinet, but you know what? If you're on a budget, if you have a limited space, the Atari iCade is the way to go. I'm Anthony from iMore.com. This was a mashup of an Atari arcade, iCade versus an actual cabinet, and this was iMore TV. And for more great videos, check out youtube.com slash iMoreVideo, and follow us on Twitter at iMore.